All right, third attempt at making a video on the way to work. Apparently, during the daytime when I film, for some reason, uh, my camera just clicks out on me. What am I doing? I'm in the wrong lane. My camera just shits on me. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the motion or if the camera is just garbage. I think what it was is I didn't realize my phone was hooked up to the Bluetooth, and I think my phone can't handle having Bluetooth and the camera running at the same time. So we're going to try this again. Anyway, what I was trying to do before. So, tips and tricks for security guards that are new to the business, or even if you've been long standing in the business and you're just not accustomed to, you know, doing little tips and tricks. So, here's the big one. Here's the one that's going to save you a fortune and also make your life a lot easier at work. Meal prep. Simple. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't know how to cook, or I don't like to cook, or I don't like to clean, or whatever, whatever, whatever. First off, grow the fuck up. You're an adult now. You need to have uh, the ability to cook. And if you can't, then uh, I pity you, truly. Um, get a crock pot. Easiest thing in the world to use, easiest thing in the world to clean, and easiest thing in the world to make some damn good meals. All right? Here's some recipes for you, off tops. Get yourself a chicken breast, right? Your favorite vegetable, broccoli, uh, Brussels sprout, asparagus, whatever the fuck, sweet peppers, onions, whatever you want. Throw it in the crock pot, add two cups of water, put that bitch on low for eight hours, go to sleep, wake up, boom, meal's ready. Bake some rice, make some noodles, whatever you want, throw that shit on top, bam, there you go. Pork chops, same thing. Pork chops, a cup of water, your favorite seasoning, throw in a couple veggies, Eight hours, go to sleep, wake up, boom, there you go. It's that easy. You, you, you throw some shit in there right before you go to bed, set it for eight hours on low, wake up, and if you want to make it fancy, wake up with just enough time to take the juice from your meal, put it in a pot, put it on high, stir the shit out of it, add some uh, cornstarch to it, don't use flour, don't recommend flour, it clots, use cornstarch, boom, you got gravy. Now you make some rice or some noodles or some whatever, you got your favorite, you know, meat with some gravy and some veggies. Come on. It's that easy. It doesn't take a lot of effort to meal prep. It's not that hard. And then you got people like me who love to cook. I love cooking. I mean, I have no problem frying up a few meals before I go to work. I, at the current moment, I'm not comfortable with it because I'm not, for, excuse me, I'm not familiar with the kitchen and I don't really know where everything is. Also, I've been sleeping a lot lately, as you may have seen from my previous video. I uh, completely am going to cut drinking for a little bit. Only have it on special occasions or just here and there now. But um, it's messing with my sleeping pattern, which I expected, but I'm very tired. So, another thing. Don't wait. Do not procrastinate. For the love of God, when it comes to your uniforms, do not procrastinate. I don't care if you wash your shirt or pants in the sink. I've done it many, many times. Throw that shit in the sink. It's not that big a deal, especially if you have like what I have where it's all polyester, okay? You take it, you get some dish soap, not even anything fancy, right? Some dish soap. Focus on the collar. That's where most of your stank sets in, your collar and your underarms, especially if you work where, like where I work, where you got to wear an undershirt, all right? Takes you 10, 15 minutes, right? Now, here's the trick, though. Everyone's like, oh, but it gets wrinkled. If you throw your polyester uniform shirts and pants in the dryer for 15 minutes in the dryer, right, on high, like turn that shit up on full blast, heavy load, whatever you got, 15 minutes in the dryer, you pull it out, it'll look like it's brand new, fresh ironed. The heat keeps it straight. That's another thing, too. Another tip and trick, all right? If you're ever doing laundry and you know your uniforms are in there, you don't have to unload the whole dryer, but get your uniforms out of there as soon as the dryer is done, and you won't have to worry about ironing your uniforms or pants. Little tricks, little things you pick up along the way. So, so far, what we got so far? We got meal prep, number one, on tops. Meal prep, the last thing you want to be at work is hungry or eating some really shitty meals and getting fat, right? Second thing... Do not procrastinate with taking care of your uniform. Last thing you want to do is show up at work and look like shit. Last thing you want. Third thing. This one's really important. I know some people, uh, a lot of people are like me. I, I'm one of those people. I do not like to wake up early and do stuff before I go to work. I am very, I am a, 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 definitely one of those people that like to sleep up until I have to go to work. But then here's the problem. It leaves you with no time at all, especially for like me, when you get out at 11 o'clock at night, nothing's open, maybe a Walmart, um, to do anything to get stuff done, so, wake up a little earlier, yes, it fucking sucks, I know, I, I get it, but beggars can't be choosers, alright, suck it up, wake up 
an hour early. One hour won't kill you. If you can't handle an hour, 30 minutes. 30 minutes definitely won't kill you. Set your alarms back 30 minutes. Get up and just, you, you'll realize, being able to take your time getting ready for work really actually helps. Like, it really does help the day go by a bit smoother, and it definitely makes you feel more refreshed, even if you're exhausted at work, because you were able to take your time in the shower, brush your teeth, you know, maybe throw some stuff in a bag for lunch, and you don't have to drive like an asshole to get to work. You know, it's nice. It's, it's nice. If you're like me, you know, maybe have a smoke on the way to work, you, you take your time and enjoy yourself. It's, it's worth it. It's really, 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 really worth it. It really is to just take your time. Having a few extra minutes to work with. So, we got meal prep. One. Two, don't fuck around with the uniforms. Don't procrastinate. Three, wake up a little earlier. Doesn't kill you. I mean, 30 minutes can save your job. You'd be surprised. Now, four. This one is a little one that a lot of people don't really understand. Always keep a pad and pen on you. Always keep a pad and pen on you. You may never fucking use it in your entire time working at a post. I have a pad in my room right now that I carried on me for almost three years and never once used it. But I used it to doodle because I got bored, but that was about it. That was literally the extent of use this thing got, all right? It looks more professional. You never know when you really might need to jot something down to help you remember it. Always have a pen because a security guard without a pen is kind of like an armed guard without a gun. You need to be able to write down information. It just looks more professional. You'd be surprised how having a pen on you impresses people for some fucking reason. All right? Pad and pen. If you forget it, even if you think, oh, no problem. I got this. I'm not worried about it. Write it down anyway. I learned that the hard way. Just write it down. All right? I don't care how goofy it looks or how, you know, oh, you can't remember? No, I can't. I'm writing it down. You don't like it? Fuck off. I don't care. Number five. This one can cost you your job. For the love of God, on all that is holy, if you are a smoker of the herb, do not come to work smelling like it. Now, me personally, I love to smoke. I can't smoke. I don't smoke. I have this line of work. You can't smoke it. So I don't smoke. I mean, I probably could, but most jobs don't give a shit, but I, I don't. I don't risk it. The last thing I need is a surprise drug test and I'll lose my job. Anyway, so it's great, but it's not that great. Now, if you do, if you are in that position where you don't give a fuck, that's great. Good for you. But do me and do everyone else a favor. Do not come to work smelling like weed for the love of God. Because here's the thing, a lot of weed smokers who smoke weed don't understand that that scent travels and it also latches on to other things. If you come to work and you're just perforating this shit and you stink of weed, we will smell like weed, Who we of us who don't smoke, and that will travel and someone else will catch a whiff and they'll complain and guess what? Yeah. People start asking questions, people start getting fired, drug tests start getting handed out, the credibility of the company goes down. Next thing you know, when re-up time comes for contract season, everyone's out of a job. And I know that sounds petty. I've watched it happen. I've seen it happen. I've seen a whole post, a whole ass post with almost 20 guards in it, including the director, lose their situation because there were these two assholes who just would not stop coming to work staking a week. And they couldn't fire them. Corporate would not let us fire them. I guess they were grandfathered in or some shit when they got the contract. Would not let us fire them. And they cost us, at the end of the day, I really do believe they cost us that contract. Because every resident I would talk to always complained about, why do the guards smell like wheat? Are they just sitting around smoking? And I'm like, oh my god. Two people could just potentially ruin the livelihood of 18 other people. So, there's your tricks. One, meal prep. Two, don't procrastinate with your uniforms. Trust me, don't do it. Three, what was three? I forgot three. Uh, oh, yeah, wake up a little earlier. It's not going to kill you, I promise. Wake up a little earlier. You'd be surprised how much more refreshing you'll feel at work getting to work 15 minutes earlier, 20 minutes earlier. Four, I'm forgetting my own tips. 
this is bad, but, uh, what was four? Four, 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 four. Anyway, if you guys watched the video, you should remember what four was. And five, of course, don't, if you, if you smoke weed, don't come to work smelling like weed. Wake and bake at home, right? Shower, then come. Please, for the love of God, don't risk my job and everyone else's job because you want to come to work baked. All right, well, that's five for now. I'm going to let y'all go so I can have my, my smoke before I get to work. And uh, be blessed, y'all. And again, remember, we work security. Our job is not hard. People overcomplicate it. It is not hard. Don't let your supervisor, don't let your, 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 your customers, don't let your coworkers make your job harder than it needs to be. We observe, we report, that's it. We don't fight bad guys unless they try to fight us. We don't chase down bad guys. We are not the cops. We just try to keep an eye on where they go. Do not risk your neck for anyone else's fucking property. All right? Their property is insured. Your life is not. And if it comes down to you and your personal health or your personal well-being and your job, choose yourself. Plenty of jobs out there. All right? Be safe, y'all. And have a fantastic Monday. Woo-hoo.